Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I hope you are doing very well. Today we are going to see how to grow clematis from cuttings the right way. It's a beautiful flowering plant and there are two main important things to know about clematis. First, it's a fragrant plant and on second, it blooms both in summer and winter. Clematis is also a perennial plant. Let's take a look at the procedure step by step. Step number one, to grow from cuttings, select the new growth. For example, here you can see a new growth. On the other hand, this is an old growth and flowers already bloomed on this growth. This is how it looks after flowering. You can try growing from old growth, but they don't root well. Even I also tried that and none of them rooted. Step number 2. Using a small 4 inch pot and for the soil using only sand. I have also tried to grow the cuttings in normal garden soil. At early stage they were looking quite good, but later none of them made it and all got rotten. Step number 3. Remove all the leaves and we can keep few leaves at the top growing part. Step number 4. It's time to prepare the cuttings. Cut below a node and make sure that its cuttings have at least two nodes. Something like this as you can see on this footage. Step number 5. All total I have 6 cuttings. Next pre wet the soil and then make the holes. 1 to 1.5 inches deep holes would be fine. Step number 6. Using rooting hormone powder. This is optional and we can also use aloe vera gel instead of this one. Dip the cuttings in water and then use rooting hormone powder. Step number 7. Insert at least 1 to 1.5 inches inside the soil. Just make sure that node is inside the soil. Step number 8. Press the soil gently to support the cuttings. After that, keep the pot only under indirect sunlight. During all these days, I used to sprinkle water every alternate day. Please note, watering frequency depends on your environment. We need to maintain the moisture but should not keep the soil soggy. Finally, this is the result after 30 days. They root quite fast and for much better result, please propagate either in spring or in summer. Out of all those cuttings, only two are looking good. I can also see that few cuttings are green at the bottom and brown at the top. Let's see what's happening inside. As we can see, it did produce the roots. So inserting it once again and hopefully after some days it's going to produce new shoots. Same thing with another cutting too. This one could not produce any roots and I don't have any hope. Let's take a look at the other two. Beautiful roots as you can see. Also it's starting to grow well. 
all right both cuttings are doing quite good next i am going to plant the cuttings right away i have cleaned the roots with water so that you can see the roots clearly going to end the video right here but in case you want more details about how to grow and care for clematis then please do check out my next video i hope you found this video useful and if you did i would really appreciate if you give it a like share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit thank you so much for watching take care and enjoy